Hi everyone, uh, just a quick video uh, to bring to your attention the December edition of Radio User Magazine. Um, interestingly, this month the long time LMNS, long, medium, and short uh, column, uh, which is edited uh, by Chrissy, uh, becomes international radio scene. But um, I've read this month's edition and it's uh, still superb. Um, but that's a change uh, that takes me back to, uh, I guess I was a teenager when I first started reading shortwave magazine with long, medium and short. So, uh, you know, things change with time, but um, the information is still superb. Um, yeah, so this month's edition is still the bumper crop of uh, all things radio, very interesting articles. Um, I'm doing this video because um, I have another uh, article uh, in this month's edition and it's my testing of BHI's dual inline module which is here on the front page. Uh, it's basically a box of electronic wizardry using DSP to clean up uh, audio signals. Um, it doesn't work with music, it only works with speech but of course the uh, potential for uh, using this device to you know, clean up noisy weak signals uh, when DXing is obvious. Um, you have to plug a speaker into it. I used my um, Bose uh, external speaker um, with it and I tested this device with my Sanjian ATS 909X, my Sony ICF 2001D uh, and a Kenwood TS 2000 transceiver which doesn't actually belong to me, it belongs to somebody who works for me uh, and I tested this device on long wave, medium wave, short wave broadcast and short wave ham bands and got some pretty good results. Um, so the article basically details what I found with the device, um, the limitations, but also obviously you know what it did really well. Um, so there you go, there's a setup at home on the sofa um, and then on my test bench uh, with the uh, Kenwood. Overall, it's a super device uh, and I would recommend one. It costs £200, and I know that you can buy a pretty decent radio for £200. Um, you know, but if it's gonna, if it is gonna make the difference between obtaining good DX and not, then those of you with deep enough pockets might want to consider it. Um, I was hoping they were gonna let me hang on to it, <clears throat> but they didn't, and that's because there's an opportunity to actually win the. Um, the unit that I tested, I sent it back, and um, I think BHI uh, generously uh, allow or offered it to uh, Radio User Magazine to offer uh, as a prize in the competition, which was nice. So um, there you go. Um, there's a fairly simple question that you have to answer. Uh, I think you can apply. Yeah, you can apply online. So uh, anyway, it's an excellent device. I mean, you know, I concluded that. Um, it's, it's very good at cleaning up audio on medium wave, long wave and uh, HF. Um, particularly if the signals are S5 or higher. Very weak signals, it did sort of struggle a bit. You kind of need a certain amount of modulation for this device to actually uh, work. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it's definitely worth a look, is what I would say. So anyway, there you go. Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you enjoy the uh, December edition. Of radio user magazine um, and uh, I'll be doing a video a channel update video which is long overdue I probably haven't done one since last Christmas so I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks or so but uh, in the meantime enjoy radio user and uh, have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year